What even is a hammer unit? I mean, like, they're mentioned in TF2 all the time. 48 hammer units, 500 hammer units, 1200 hammer 32,600! This box is only one hammer unit in height. On top of it is a pole that's one hammer unit wide, one hammer unit in length, and 2000 hammer units tall! A hammer unit is the smallest a grid will go down to an hammer. I'd love to get it more, but it just won't go! I love shouting! The average player model is roughly 88 hammer units tall. The average doorway is roughly 128 hammer units tall. You could fit, like, five lasagnas in there. The distance from the two sniper spots and two forks is 1,760 hammer units, and the distance from me and Jail is a 30-meter restraining order. This is how far you'd have to be for the Ambassador to no longer headshot. This is how far you'd have to be with the Pomsen to no longer drain Uber. This is how far you'd have to be to no longer violate my restraining order. The Valve Developer Wiki has some information regarding units to real-world measurements and hammer unit sizes of tier 2 player models and buildings. I'll link them in the description, but be warned, the conversion is a bit off. It seems that all TF2 classes at their full height are either 7 feet tall or 5 feet tall. Either way... What? Player movement speed is expressed as hammer units per second, similar to meters per second or miles per hour. It generally goes from 80 units per second, which is the sniper wall scoped, up until 400 units per second, which is the scout's normal run. Rocket jumping and sticky jumping can bring the player up until roughly 8,000 hammer units per second. The maximum height of a fall without taking damage is 269 hammer units. The maximum height and length of a map is 32,768 hammer units. Here's a clip of me falling roughly that height. Let's get him! Well, that was anticlimactic. To make up for that, I'll close with a clip of frogs exploding and Jurati raining on a random trade map.